What's up tackle boys, Gussie here. I'm gonna do a quick little fishing session, maybe like an hour down at a local stream right by my house. Zach is busy this weekend, he's out of town. So I'm just gonna do a little solo session. Hopefully we can catch some fish. I've seen some down here usually when I'm walking the dog. So I have a feeling we're gonna get into something. All right guys, let's do it. Big old crawdad in the water. First cast, guys. First cast. <laughs> oh, they're chasing it. There's like three, three smallies chasing it. First cast. Fighting like a champion. Fighting like a champion. Wow. Look at that. Great first fish of the day. That is awesome, guys. Look at the colors. It's maybe 13 inches. 12 inches. Beautiful fish. Look at the sun on that thing. Wow, red eyes. Get a little release on this guy. Whenever you're ready, girl. <laughs> that was awesome, guys. First fish of the day. First cast. Looks like they might have gotten a little bit smarter. So I'm just throwing a little topwater spook. A white topwater spook. I'm hitting a deep little bank right where the shadow is from the trees. And I'm hoping I can entice another one to bite. So the way you fish these guys, you just reel in your slack. See how I'm just tipping, twitch, twitch, twitch. And every time there's a little slack, every time I twitch it, I'm just reeling in that extra slack. And it gets this walking motion. Doom, 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 doom. Smallmouth bass just can't resist it. It looks crazy, but it works. There's little minnows and crawdads all around my feet. This creek's alive right now. What I did there was just stop the line from going out so quickly by palming it with my hand over the spool. And if you get a good, if you get a good feel for your rod and reel, you can usually throw it a little harder than you need to and slow it down so it lands right on the bank like I just did. I feel really blessed to be able to come out here on a nice sunny Saturday while the water's low and clear and cast for some really nice smallmouth. Don't have to drive, don't have to do anything, just walk across the street. See this crawdad swimming everywhere? These smallmouth must be eating pretty good. It's always really nice seeing little kids getting out in nature, walking by the river. That's when it all starts guys. You've got little kids. Make sure to take them outside. Put down the iPad, put down the iPhone, turn off the TV, go see what you can find. Because it sure is beautiful outside. I find that on sunny days like this, these bass like to stage up right on the edge of the shade and deeper, like right on the edge of a deep pool. And they'll just wait for their chance to get an easy snack. The beauty of throwing top water is you can throw it in water that's ankle deep. And sometimes there's little holes behind these rocks, like you see this right here. And there'll be fish sitting in it, waiting for something to come by to eat. And you can throw it at that kind of stuff and not have to worry about getting snagged up. It's one of my favorite types of fishing. It's just, you can cover lots of water. It's very active. You get to see the strike. In my opinion, there's not many things better than what I'm doing right now. This little spot looks really nice. This used to be a low head dam that they destroyed. And it's about the only place pooling water right now. Oh yeah, I knew it. Oh yeah, nailed it. Nailed it. Beautiful fish, guys. Beautiful smallmouth. Beautiful smallmouth. Wow. Wow, look at this. Look at this, guys. This is about as good as it gets for a little stream like this. What a beauty. That fish is, there's eight. It's about 14 inches. I'd say this is about a 14 inch fish, guys. Let's let this beautiful small creek smally go. Watch the release, there she goes. 
I haven't even worked my way into the main hole yet. not stupid fish. I think they saw me guys. And if I were a fish, I'd eat the crap out of this lure. Try to throw it right up into these rocks. Now we're in the rocks. I think the name of the game today guys, since it's so clear, the water's so clear, I'm gonna have to make long casts and get to the fish before they can see me with my lure. Oh yeah, I got nailed guys. This is a nice, really nice fish. This is a really nice bass. Yeah, baby. Just keeping pressure on them, using my rod. Pound for pound, these things fight harder than any. Oh, I'm getting chased by another big one. Look at this, look at this guys. Another big bass just chased this all the way up. Wow! Another nice fish. 13 to 14 inches again. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous bass. I mean, dang. I had a big one follow this up. See a girl. I know there's more up in there. This is amazing. If you guys fish top water lures like this, you gotta make sure your hooks are sharp. If they're not sharp, you're going to have a hard time getting these fish because they hit it really fast and they let go pretty quickly like that. And I just missed that fish. I've missed two bass already. Looks like he got a little taste of hook and he or she is no longer interested. That's all right. I know there's more bass up here. I'm just gonna let it pause for a sec. Cause I got hit once already today when it was just sitting there floating. And these fish seem to like that sometimes. Oh, sh that was a big bass guys. I've seen like seven smallmouth bass in this hole. I hooked into a few of them. Try these holes one more time with really slow, kind of a jerk, jerk, pause. I was getting chased, guys. Oh yeah, came back and hit it. Woo! <gasps> wow! That was amazing. That was amazing. This is the big one of the hole, I think. It's probably a two pound bass right there. Oh my gosh. This fish is eight, between 14 and, 14 and 15 inches long. You can look at it against my arm there. Beautiful bronze color. Just look at how pretty these fish are, man. All day they've been like this. Let's get a nice little underwater release. That was amazing. I watched that fish chasing it and I just kept working it normally and I watched it hit. That got my blood pumping. I'm pretty sure that was the big one I missed a second ago. This is one of those fishing days I'm not gonna forget anytime soon. I am very happy. Sometimes these smallmouth are sitting right at the right at the foot or right on the side of these riffles. Again, just looking for an easy meal. If you go fishing in a creek like this, just think about where, if you were looking for food, where you'd sit. 
It's usually where where the smallmouth will be. That is if you eat crawdads and minnows, helgramites and insects, nymphs and stuff. Wow, I didn't realize how good this spot was until we're getting this look at it. This is like the, one of the best fishing spots I've ever found here in Columbus. It's like five different pools. Like five different pools, all with eddies, rocky bottom. They're pretty deep. Like the river's really low right now. It's way lower than it usually is. And it's holding water. No wonder there's like seven or eight smallmouth in here. I stumbled across the gym today, boys and girls. Guys, I see a big smallmouth right here. That was the smallmouth I missed. See, that's the thing, guys. If you, if you get hit by a smallmouth, just take your time and keep casting, because they're still there. I just spooked it out of this hole. Oh, it's still there. Just chase me again. Holy crap. It's just waiting. We got a fellow fisherman over here coming up behind me, so I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next hole. Looks like somebody else found my secret hole. I don't think the day's done yet, guys. Oh, shit. oh. Dude, as, so as soon as it hit the water, these fish are on fire today. I gotta cast right back up in there. I couldn't be happier about that fish. Just had a crawdad in my sandal. Freaked me out. Clear water, low water, sun's out. These fish can see me coming a mile away, so I'm gonna have to cast a mile to get them to bite. Got a good feeling about this spot, guys. Got a real good feeling. Oh yeah, it's getting chased by another one. Wow, that is awesome, guys. There's two of them there. Pound for pound, these guys, best fighters around. <laughs> it's a great fish, maybe a 13-incher. Let's get a nice release on this bad girl. Feisty fish. Wow, that's pretty much all I can say after today. I don't know, I fish for a little over an hour, and I caught, I caught some of the nicest smallmouth that I've caught this entire season. The top water did the trick again. Dude, top water blow up, that's where it's at. I couldn't be happier, guys. <laughs> Please comment below if you have some ideas for next segments, if you want to fish with us and you live in Ohio or the surrounding area. We love to make friends, we love to hear from you. We appreciate all the comments, all the support, all the likes. Share this if you feel so inclined. Also, check it out. I just found a whoopee cushion. <laughs> <laughs>